because they have enough bombs to destroy the world like four times over. First started out here. What's her name? Frankie. I'm Dagma Hoxie. Spell that. Spell your last name. H O X S I E. And I'm John Bach. J O H N B A C H. Can you tell me about what's going on here today? Well, we come here to offer it on the day of the Holy Innocent, which we a uh, celebration in our Catholic Church. It uh, reminds us of the days when Herod slaughtered the children. And we believe that this is recognized as the most dangerous place in this world. They have the capability to end the world. They have the capability to kill an awful lot of people. And I believe that future generations should not have this cloud hanging over their heads, that they could be incinerated. They should have a future and not worry about what happens here. And I believe as, as a Catholic Christian that I need to take a stand and say stop the insanity because that's what it is. So what is your stand going to be here this afternoon? My stand. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what, are you all, what are you all prepared to do here this afternoon? Uh, we're prepared to cross the line and, 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 and uh, say, put into action what I believe in. Do you have anything you might have to ask? Um, I'd just like to say that uh, the, that STRATCOM has been used for offensive wars that make the homeland less secure in the past. It will be used in the future to make offensive wars that make the homeland less secure. STRATCOM will be used in the future to make offensive wars that make the homeland less secure. And my action today by crossing the line uh, is to say that America needs to stop its endless war. Uh, it will end eventually. I say the sooner the better. Uh, I've chosen to do this today on the Feast of the Holy Innocents. I'm actually not a Catholic, um, but I uh, do believe um, that uh, the Feast of the Holy Innocents is a profound emotional moment um, in the church here. It was a profound event in biblical times, and it still rings true today. And it's a, as appropriate a day as any to, uh, to demonstrate and to uh, uh, engage in civil disobedience against the war machine. Okay, what about the uh, soldiers in Iraq? You know, uh, with the feeling that they may have, the gang, you don't support them. I, I support them 100%, and I think they all should be home where they belong. Okay. Every one of them should be home where they belong. And they should have never been sent out into something that... I don't think Jesus went to get nailed to a cross. It was a consequence for following uh, the mandates of his mission to be a peacemaker. And, uh, you know, in this country, a lot of people are willing to go be war makers. We see them on TV all the time. But peacemakers have to be able to uh, put up a, uh, some risk and collateral, personal equity and personal sacrifice for peacemaking. And the two people today are, uh, are putting their lives on the line for peace. Can you go a little bit further out? You're up there and then the... Okay. If you guys are going to do a statement, this might be the best time. I just want to get the traffic stopped so everything's safe before cool. we... We'll wait for you. We, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Cap Massey from the United States Air Force. These individuals that are here with me are here for your protection at the same time as the defense of the base. Uh, please follow their instructions. Uh, we will try to keep this as safe as we can. That's why they're out here. In case something does happen, we can respond immediately. Again, I'm Cap Massey from the United States Air Force. Section 21 of the Internal Code Act of 1950 of the United States Code requires you to have permission from the installation commander in order to be granted entry. Entering without permission is trespassing and a violation of federal law. You can be, you can be prosecuted under Title 18, Section 1382 of the United States Code. By order of the commander, I order to you to not cross this line and disperse peacefully when you are complete with your vigil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now this 
the story of the birth of Jesus Christ and how it came about. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation. Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. He has shown might with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He's thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. And finally, a quote from the monk, writer, and spiritual leader Thomas Merton. Apropos for this season, as we wish our friends at Offutt Air Force Base Merry Christmas. Into this world, this demented inn, in which there is absolutely no room for him at all, Christ has come uninvited. But because he cannot be at home in it, because he is out of place in it, and yet must be in it, his place is with those for whom there is no room. His place is with those who are discredited, who are denied the status of persons, who are tortured, bombed, exterminated. With those for whom there is no room, Christ is present in the world. He is mysteriously present in those for whom there seems to be nothing but the world at its worst. today because I remember the biblical story of Herod killing the children. This place has the capability to kill all the children in the world. They're capable of ending life in this world. As long as we have a president who believes in possibly using nukes, I think there's a great danger for our children and our grandchildren. I believe that this insanity needs to stop. And I say this as a mother and godmother. I'm here today because STRATCOM has been used for offensive wars that make us less secure. STRATCOM will be used for offensive wars that make us less secure. The projection of force has reached its logical conclusion, the application of force. And uh, I believe that America's endless war will end. I'm here today and I'm about to cross this line because I believe that the better, the sooner it ends, the better. Amen. Amen. 644. Four. They can see. This is my soul. I do. Yes, I do. Someday we're going to come back with hundreds of thousands.